and Russia on Tuesday launched the world's first COVID-19 vaccine. President Vladimir Putin said it offers sustainable immunity against the coronavirus. The new coronavirus vaccine has been named Sputnik V after the Soviet satellite. In a televised video conference call, President Putin told government ministers that the vaccine developed by Moscow's Gamaleya Institute had been given regulatory approval. Putin informed that the vaccine underwent all necessary tests and his daughter, who was inoculated with the vaccine, is doing well. As far as I know, today morning, it was registered in the world in the world the first vaccine against the new coronavirus infection. I, in this case, Хочу попросить министра здравоохранения Мурашка Михаила Альбертовича проинформировать нас поподробнее. The vaccine still has to complete final trials, raising concerns among some experts at the speed of its approval. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization is discussing the newly approved COVID-19 vaccine with Russia. President Rodrigo Duterte praised Russia's efforts in developing the vaccine. He also volunteered to work with Russia on vaccine trials, supply and production. In another development, China's Sinovac started phase 3 clinical trials for its COVID-19 vaccine in Indonesia involving 1,620 volunteers. The vaccine is already in final stage trials involving 600 participants in China. Immune response. How vaccines work. When this vaccine is injected into the human cell, it will make the viral protein. The scientists are hoping that this viral protein will wake up our immune response and protect against the virus. The mRNA-1273 vaccine has shown promise in animal models, and this is the first trial to examine it in humans. The human trial will enroll 45 healthy adult volunteers of 18 to 55 years age over approximately six weeks. Study participants will receive two doses of the vaccine via intramuscular injection in the upper arm approximately 28 days apart. Currently, the study is evaluating different doses of the experimental vaccine for safety and its ability to induce an immune response in participants. This is the first of multiple steps in the clinical trial process for evaluating the potential benefit of the vaccine. Currently, three groups of 15 people will receive different doses of the experimental vaccine. That is 25 microgram, 100 micrograms, or 250 microgram dose. The first four participants will receive one injection with the low dose. Investigators will review safety data before vaccinating the remaining participants in the 25 and 100 microgram dose groups and before participants receive their second vaccinations. If the four participants are safe, then the 25 microgram group will be injected, and if they are safe, then the 100 microgram group will be tested, and so on. Blood samples of participants will be checked from time to time to see if an immune response is developed against the vaccine. Meanwhile, we can maintain social distancing measures like self-isolation, sanitization, closure of schools or workplaces, and reduction in person-to-person -person contact. And stay safe. To be continued. Do check out my video and subscribe to my channel. I would like to hear your feedback. Give support to me by subscribe my YouTube channel.